we love her. Yeah, Jane's welcome, I was Anastasia. Yeah. Hello, are you happy to be on Loose I'm Women so today? I'm so happy to be on Loose Women. Because <laughs> you've been on quite a few times. I before. have been on yeah. quite a few times. In fact, I tried to say to the gentleman in the back, I've been on since the beginning. When did it start? And they were like, 89. I was like, okay, maybe not. <laughs> I kind of forgot that, yes, it may have started before me, but I feel like it started when I started. Okay, mm -hmm. it yeah. did. To it us, did. it did. You're one of us. We, Thank yeah, you. You, you I just am a go woman. Off and do other things and then come back and yeah, you know, yeah. visit us. It is actually true. Yeah. Aww. So, what have yeah. you been up to since the last time we saw you? Um, I had a couple of things that I had to do. Yeah. <laughs> well, how what are your that? things? <laughs> there's, there's, there's just, you know, just have a little couple twin set going on right now. <laughs> and are you good or yeah, well? Yeah, all good. well. Everything's wonderful. Good. And I've been working on, uh, I put out an album last year, which is like a greatest hits album, yay. which is, yay. <laughs> yay. <laughs> That's what I'm doing this year is I'm doing a tour for yes. it. So it's really, really exciting to just be back on stage with the fans doing the songs they want to hear. It's called The Ultimate Collection. It is. And uh, is, is it songs from of old? Is it a mixture of new stuff? What could it's you actually expect? mainly the, the old stuff, but stuff that my fans have never seen me perform. Like I did the song in the Chicago soundtrack. Okay. So a song from there and another soundtrack, Fantastic Four. So different things that they may not have been privy to yeah. were putting them in the show. And every song on the Ultimate Collection is in the tour. What kind of places <laughs> are you playing on this tour? They're smaller, aren't they? Slums, you yeah. mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Because, well, you know, it's kind of the woman I am. Yeah, well, you're, she's playing at the Palladium. You can't... Yeah, <laughs> yeah I am. I start, I start uh, here in London, in the UK. I actually start on the 2nd of May. And then there's more dates for yeah. everybody else, you know, doing Manchester, going up north. Manchester, not maybe. Maybe, right? Maybe. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I won't understand anything the further I get to, like, Scotland. It's going to be Scotland. Scotland. Yeah, like, like, my cards. Yeah. Yeah. Can I ask you something very basic? I had glasses, glasses for years and years and years, and then I had my eyes lasered. Me too. Exactly. Yeah. So I want to ask you how it felt the first time you had to perform without your glasses on because they were a shield in some okay. ways, weren't um, they? My issue with taking off my glasses is I had been wearing glasses since I was six years old. Yeah. I had no concept of how my nose was big. Or how, like, you have a nose that goes up to here. My nose always started here because I wore glasses. Oh, OK. So I was like, oh, my nose is huge! Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't huge, I just never had seen it that long in a mirror. <laughs> I was like, it's just, it goes all the way from here to here. That's really long. But you were our favorite pop star with glasses. Yeah, you were the yeah, only yeah. female star. But I didn't do that on purpose. I knew yeah. yeah. I mean, I wish I could say it, it, it was completely planned that I'm so brilliant like that. I was just blind. So <laughs> I needed the glasses. And then I really just wanted to have the ability of going and scuba diving and seeing yeah. the, the water and waking up and seeing the world. Yet I had a hard time getting to recognize my face. And I think most people had to do the same thing when Without I took the off glasses my glasses. On. It was great when I first took them off because no one recognized yeah. me. Mm -hmm. So it was almost like the best disguise ever. I wore no yeah. makeup, put my hair in a pony, and everybody was like, hey, can I have directions? You know, and I was like, I have no idea where we are. <laughs> you know, like, one, of, one of the things that I find fascinating, because I love your music, but then Thank I you. had read your biography and I really got to understand you as a woman because you're very brutally honest and you don't really see that with many women in the media. Yeah. You, you, you talk very honestly about how you used to lie about your age in yes. this industry, about your Botox, yes. about all Not of the right different now. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so just, just tell I, us. I, I mean, I've curbed my Botox I, habit. I just find it really fascinating. But she's a loose woman. Yeah, she's a loose woman. I love it. But what, what, do you feel that there was this, there is still this pressure to lie about your age and have all of this cosmetic stuff done you to know, keep, to still have a sort of, you know, a role in this industry? I think the interesting part is when I came out, I was on a TV show that you had to be a certain age yeah. to be on the show. Okay. So because I was 30 and I went on the show and then I got my deal, the show said that I was 23. And I looked it, because I always have looked, thank God. When I was young, I didn't like it. I love it now. Mm. That I look younger than my age. I'm 48 now, so it's different, mm. you know. 
It's but you dude, look it's amazing. a lot of it is slap. You but, know what it's but like. Anastasia, you know like. loads, loads of women in the music industry do have to lie about their age, don't they? They they do, and I think they lie because they want to. I just was going with the record company, and then I was yeah. trying to keep it up, and I'm How ridiculous. How did you remember? Well, I did you know, it. I would just go, oh, age is a number. <laughs> <laughs> Like when I was born or something, and I'd be like, <laughs> so I was born at a time when stuff was happening. Yeah. You know, I just like just kind of change the subject because I'd be like, what year is it? When am I supposed to say I was born? So I was just <laughs> awful at it. And then when I turned, when I was turning forty, I was like, I don't want to not turn forty with everybody. Yeah. I don't want to like this is so not cool. Yeah. So how so, old did everyone think you were when you were actually turning forty? Thirty-three. <laughs> <laughs> Seven years, because I got yeah. my deal at 30, and they said I was 23, so I kept it going. Yeah. Did it so affect your record sales at all? No. Of course not. not. No. No. Yep. So no Botox now? Are we? Are we? Are we not no, doing we're not, anything uh, now? Maybe like a little bit once a year. Okay. Yeah. Just a softening of the okay. sadness. <laughs> like <a> tired. <laughs> you know, and then it's like. I'm not so tired. So, yeah, just a moment. Maintenance, but I, maintenance. I haven't given it up. I have yeah. to, you know, have a little bit of hit. Okay. Now <laughs> Anastasia, we've run out of time. Thank you so much. It's Anastasia, everyone. We get some pretty fabulous guests here on Loose Women. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free. So you'd be silly not to, really. And the thing is, I had to have three showers before we could even continue recording <laughs> because what I didn't realise was that this colour hair, yeah. you squirt, squirt tomato ketchup on that yeah. and it grabs. I had yeah. pink hair. Yeah. <laughs>